God, hallelujah. Just for being God, we worship you today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're holy, Lord Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. You're righteous, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Without God, we're nothing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Without God, I would fail. Hallelujah, Jesus. Without God, I am nothing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Without God, I will fail, Lord Jesus. Without God, I will be drifting. Hallelujah. Like a ship without a sail. Hallelujah, Jesus. But Jesus never fails. Jesus never fails. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah to your name, Lord Jesus. Your King of Kings, Lord Jesus. Your Lord of Lords, Lord Jesus. You're our ruler, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You've been mighty good to us, Jesus. Hallelujah. You've been mighty good to us, Jesus. Hallelujah. So we offer this praise to you today, Lord Jesus. Not just from our lips, God. Hallelujah. But from our hearts, Lord Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We give you all the honor. Hallelujah. We give you all the praise. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise you enough, Lord Jesus. You're worthy of all the praise, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for keeping our minds, Lord Jesus. Thank you for your protection, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for a do right mind, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for bringing us through these doors, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We're unworthy, Lord Jesus. But you're with us, Jesus. You're with us, Jesus. Hallelujah. You're still with us, Lord God. And we praise you today, Lord God. We don't take it for granted, Lord Jesus, that the glory is already here, Lord Jesus. That your presence is already here, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise you for your power, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. It's here for a reason today, Lord. Hallelujah. And we love you, Jesus. We release ourselves into your presence, Lord Jesus. The only wise God, hallelujah. The only wise God, hallelujah, Jesus. You reign forever, Jesus. You reign forever, You reign forever, Jesus, hallelujah. You're forever our King, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you today, Lord Jesus, just for being God, hallelujah. Just for being God all by yourself, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. You do anything but fail, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. You've never left us, Jesus, hallelujah. You're still with us, Jesus, hallelujah. You're still with us, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you for your presence today, Lord Jesus. And we honor you, Lord Jesus. We bow down before you, Lord Jesus, in humble submission, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. That you alone are God, hallelujah, Jesus. And you make no mistakes, Lord Jesus. You make no mistakes, Jesus, hallelujah. You make no mistakes, Jesus, hallelujah. You know what you're doing, Jesus. You know what you're doing, Jesus. Hallelujah. We release ourselves into your hands today. We release ourselves into your hands, Lord Jesus. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Do it again, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Do what only you can do, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Unravel, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Do what only you can do today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. We come to you, God. We look to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We lay it all at your feet today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust you, Lord Jesus. We trust you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust you, Lord Jesus. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. Move as only you can, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Orchestrate this service, Lord Jesus, under your mighty hand, Lord Jesus. This is the day you made, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. This is your day you made, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Your will be done, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You're God and God alone, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And you make no mistakes, Lord Jesus. Ah, you make no mistakes, Jesus. Hallelujah. We will forever worship you, Lord Jesus. We forever worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You're God alone, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You do anything but fail, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We trust you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank you for your presence even now, Lord Jesus. What you're doing, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus, work, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way today, Lord Jesus. We lift you up, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We place it all in your hands, Lord Jesus, but you get the glory yet again, Lord Jesus. No one else, Lord Jesus, but you get the glory. Hallelujah. For you alone are God. Hallelujah. You alone are God and you alone remain worthy, Lord Jesus, of all the praise, Lord Jesus. All the glory belongs to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We will forever praise you, Jesus. I, we will forever praise you in this place, Lord Jesus. I say we will forever praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're here to praise you, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord God, and we will forever praise your great and holy name, Lord Jesus. Your name is holy, Lord Jesus. Your name is righteous, hallelujah. And there's nobody like you, Lord Jesus. We will forever praise you, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. We won't let a day go by, hallelujah, without praising you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. You're worthy, God, have your way, Lord Jesus. Move all flesh out of the way, Lord Jesus. Bind up anything that's not of you, Lord Jesus. Let the spirit flow freely, Lord Jesus, to do what it came to do on today, Lord God. I have your way in this place, Lord Jesus. We dedicate this day to you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Have your way today, Lord God. Bless our pastor, Lord God, and anyone that should come through the doors, Lord Jesus. Your will be done, Lord Jesus. So we release this day into your hands, Lord God. Have your way today, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Do what only you can do, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. And we trust you, Jesus. We trust you, Jesus, hallelujah. We trust you, Lord Jesus. Your will be done, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. You're worthy, Jesus, hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's worthy, Jesus. You're worthy, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You didn't have to do it, but you did, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. You've kept us, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Just for being God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because there's nobody like you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Nobody like you, Jesus, hallelujah. We'll forever lift your name up, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, God. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Psalms 27 is our scripture, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, yes, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 27, 13 and 14. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord. Be of good carriage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. Lord everybody I know it's only a few of us in here praise the Lord everybody 
Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God is an awesome God. Thank you, Jesus. He reigns from heaven above. With the wisdom, he's all-knowing. He's all-powerful. He saw this day before this day got here. That's who God is. Hallelujah. That's the God that we serve. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. While it's heavy, it's not heavy because Bishop, I'm going to say that because we in church. It's not heavy because he's not here. What's heavy is that he's resting and we still got to deal with this world. Oh, glory. And that's the truth. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I rejoice that my father is resting. Hallelujah. But we must continue to fight. We must continue to fight. Hallelujah. Because we still here. So that means there's still purpose for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You still have assignments to complete. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. And the teacher is coming to grade the work. So make sure your work is complete. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Make sure your work is complete. Because the teacher's coming to grade. Hallelujah. He's walking. He's walking around the class. Glory to God. And looking on your desk. What do you have to turn in? Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's hard out here. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't want to come myself today. And not because my daddy ain't here, but because it's hard out here. But God is still good. Hallelujah. He's the greatest power. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And you can't profess salvation and to be a glory carrier or to have the spirit of God inside of you and to think about the fact that you do have life. Glory. Hallelujah. And give God a praise in spite of the heavy. In spite of the hard, my God is still good. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I say, yes, he is. Glory to God. In spite of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We all got to press. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor might not like this, but I look in the audience and I see everybody that got a Brock last name or had a Brock last name. Hallelujah. This is not a Brock church. This is God's church. And the Brocks and everybody else that's going to look to see Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got to fight, saints. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I said we got to fight. Thank you, Jesus. The enemy knows that his time is short. Hallelujah. But you got to fight. Glory. I said you got to fight. Jesus. Hallelujah. Woo, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Now let's praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Because Bishop taught us that praise is a weapon.
Jesus. You're not fighting by yourself. Yes, Lord. You're not fighting by yourself. Yes, Jesus. When you fight with God, you're not fighting alone. And you don't even have to use your own ammunition. Glory. Yes, God. You don't even have to use your own weapons. Woo, Jesus. He'll give it to you. He'll tell you what to use. He'll tell you where to aim. Glory! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right. I'm supposed to be singing. I think it's important that everyone that's not in this building understands that everyone in this building, we're fighting the same fight. You're not fighting alone. You're not an anomaly. You're not dealing with nothing and no one else is dealing with. But we got to fight. And we got to fight together. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Y'all not the only one looking at quit in your face. Hallelujah. You're not the only one that want to quit. Jesus. But God's been too good. He didn't bring us this far. Hallelujah. He didn't have this much mercy and grace on us to get to the finish line and quit. I'm not going to do it. 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 We're not quitting at the end. That's dumb. We're not giving up at the end. That's stupid. We're not doing that. Glory to God. All right. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Y'all know Jesus is really soon to come. And whether he comes by the rapture for you or by rest in the grave, Jesus is soon to come. Hallelujah. Your fight is not just for you. It's for your children. It's for my children. It's for my children's children. It's for their children. Glory to God. Because if he don't come soon, it's for as many as the Lord thy God shall call from our lineage. Hallelujah. So we got to fight. Thank you, Jesus. Don't leave your family in this earth and they don't know Jesus. You got to fight. Hallelujah. All right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank 
Woo, Jesus, he's a good God, saints. I say he's a good God, saints. Woo, Jesus. He's a great, 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 gracious God. He's a loving God. All kind, all powerful, all knowing, all loving, ever flowing. He's Jesus. Yes, he is. 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 My mother, my father, my sister. He's my brother. His name is Jesus. He's 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 my mother. He's my father. He's my sister. He's my brother. He's my doctor. He's my lawyer. He's my friend. 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 He is Jesus. 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 He is Jesus.
Somebody shake yourself and say something about that name. One name, one name, one name. Jesus. Yeah, yeah. 
I love to call his name. Yes, yes I do. Glory, glory. Woo! Shine ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Something's happening right now. Jesus. Woo! Shine ya. Yeah, 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 yeah. What am I shining on? Jesus. Here come Jesus. Here come Jesus. Here come Jesus. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo! Hallelujah! My, 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 my! Woo! Jesus! 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 Oh, Jesus! Jesus Jesus Oh Jesus Oh my 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 Oh Shanda It's a Bashia Ura Bashanda Mosia Oh Katabashaya Jesus. Whoa, he makes everything better. My God, my God. Yet to go see I say he makes everything better. Come on, one more time. If you're in the section where they open up your mouth real big and shout Jesus. God by God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Well, welcome to Greater Christ Temple Apostolic Ministries. <laughs> Where the presence of the Lord is always here. God, I thank you. Woo! I wish I had at least another glory carry that just be grateful that the presence of the Lord is always here my god you might not show up but he always i said he always my my god always shows up my 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 And if I could remind you of something Bishop used to say, he don't just show up to make you feel good. Somebody look at your neighbor and tell him he showed up to do something. Oh, I came and I, 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 got, I got my dancing shoes on, but he didn't just come to make me feel good. Yeah. Oh, I feel Jesus. But shake your own self and say he came to do something. I thought, oh my God. What? I said he came to do something. Work, Lord, work. Yes, sir. So we submit and surrender. And anyway, you want to bless us. Lord, help me tonight. I said, any way you want to bless us, God, do what you came to do. God, my God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. He's greater than that. I said, hallelujah to Jesus. Do what you came to do. Somebody throw your hands up and surrender your all right there in the presence of the Lord and tell God, do what you want to do. Do what you All right. Let me move. Hallelujah. Yee! I want to get y'all out of here before the rain comes. I feel Jesus. Yee! I feel. Oh, God. Praise him, shepherd mother. I said, I feel Jesus. 
I'm glad I can feel them. I said, I'm glad I can feel them. Nothing like his presence. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God for all of our guests and visitors in the virtual space. God bless you. Amen. I see you online. Amen. Sister Ellen, Sister Chase. Amen. God bless you to those that are online watching. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. To everybody in the sanctuary, I love you. God bless you. Good for you to be here. Amen. Sister Campbell, God bless you. Good to see you online. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. It's of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. His compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Somebody, amen, be grateful that we serve a great, a great, great and wonderful, faithful God. Faithful is our God, amen. We honor the Lord Jesus. It's another high praise at high noon service. And I don't want your praise to go all the way down, hallelujah. But I thank God, amen, for those of you that have come into the sanctuary this afternoon to encounter God. Amen. To encounter God. Amen. It's a day like no other and we honor God. Amen. And we celebrate the life and legacy of our founder. Amen. Bishop Dwight David Brock. Amen. On the day that he was born. Amen. We honor God for an honorable man of God who God used to lay a strong foundation a firm foundation and we're still standing oh i wish i had a good glory carrier that would tap into this glory real quick here and testify to those that would have sought us to be falling over and giving up by now open up your mouth and say and we're still standing and better is still on the way I said forward is still the way because that's where better is greater 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 so we bless God and we honor the Lord amen for our founder amen and we honor God God bless you to our shepherd mother this morning God bless you I'm sorry this afternoon will you clap your hands and celebrate her amen still living amen in the glory and we thank God for each and every one of you amen to our worship leader God bless you Amen. Thank God for anointed. Listen, I'm moving after this. I'm going to share a few announcements and we're going to get into the word. But listen, I thank God for anointed vessels in the house. I, woo, God have mercy. I felt a run right there. I said, I thank God for anointed vessels in the house. Watch this, and I'm moving. Hallelujah. Uh, th there's a game I play, uh, Sister Lillian. There's a game I play on my phone uh, where, amen, you, you have to uh, send the people from your tower into someone else's tower. Uh, and the object of the game is to overtake all the towers on the board. Uh, and what happens is there are different kinds of towers. Sometimes the towers start with a lot of people in it. It may be maxed out. Sometimes you might only have one person and you got to put some more people in there so you can go into the other towers. I thank God for anointed vessels because uh, sometimes, amen, the vessels that pour need to be the ones poured into. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes the vessels that pour so often are the ones that need a, a pour themselves. And so I'm grateful to God that there's more than one anointed vessel in the house. And we pour into one another. Will you look around this sanctuary, smile at somebody, tell them, I love you. I love you. I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you. I love you. Come on, celebrate your brother, your sister. Come on, share some love and throw it around the sanctuary. I let, let them feel it. Hallelujah to Jesus. God bless you. Glory to God. Amen. Uh, we are we are in the middle of man. Amen. Of a Bible class series in our Back to Basics Bible class. We're right in the middle of a wonderful series. Uh, Kingdom workers. Kingdom workers. 
Uh, this series is designed for everyone here at GCTA. Uh, last week we were out of town uh, and I jumped on uh, online. Oh my God, we had a wonderful Bible class on this past Wednesday. So much, amen. I, I, I got a few people saying we might, we might want to do virtual Bible class a little more often. <laughs> stay tuned, stay tuned. We are, we are going into 24. There's some new things coming up. But thank God for this, this series, Kingdom Workers. We're getting ready, amen, to launch deeper and wider. I said we're getting ready to launch deeper and wider. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, GCTA, our nets are getting prepared to cast again. Ca oh, 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 oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I love looking at y'all faces. Hallelujah. But uh, Bishop would say this after a while. There's greater ministry in me. Hallelujah. But can I prophesy to y'all sitting out there in the seats? It's greater ministry in you too. I ain't the only one. All right. Lord help me today. Hallelujah. I, I came, I came for glory. So if y'all listen, we can do all that commemorating, memorizing, and, and, and all that stuff a little bit later, but I I, yeah, I came for glory. And I'm gonna get all I need. Hallelujah. All right, all right. So so meet us back here this Wednesday. This Wednesday, the Lord say the same. Meet us back here. Amen. 7165 Old Alexandria Ferry Road in Clinton, Maryland. Amen. Back to basics Bible class, 7 o'clock p.m. We're only here for one hour, and God does what God wants to. Amen. Next Sunday, next Sunday is Christmas Eve. Next Sunday. It's Christmas Eve, uh, the 24th, amen, of December. And guess what? We're going to be right here at GCTA. High praise at high noon, amen, right here at, on Christmas Eve. I had, a, I had one of the young people ask me, um, are, are we going to be in church on Christmas Eve? I said, yep, we're going to be right there in church. Now, we're not going to be here all night. Uh, we're not even going to be here when the sun goes down. Well, unless God says otherwise. But uh, we, we, we're going to come. We're going to give God glory and praise. We're going to receive what he has for us. Amen. And then we're going to get these children home so they can go to bed and wake y'all up early. <laughs> wake y'all up early. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Amen. But we'll be right here next Sunday. Amen. For our high praise at high noon on Christmas Eve. Amen. And then the following Sunday, New Year's Eve, listen up, GCTA. New Year's Eve, we are not having, amen, a late night uh, watch night service on New Year's Eve, but we will be here. Our closeout service for 2023 will be right here at 7165 Old Alexandria Ferry Road. You want to be here, God. You, you want to be here. If you are connected, attached to this ministry, you want to be here on December 31st at the noon hour. We're going all the way up. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Baker. We're going all the way up. Yeah. And 2024 is going to have to, God help me, let, let me be quiet. I, 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 that's too much early, too early, too early. All right, but we're going to be here. So please make sure you put that in your phones, amen. Uh, we'll give you an opportunity, amen, if you so desire to fellowship, amen, elsewhere. But we're closing out 2023 as a family of believers here at GCTA at the noon hour on December 31st. Next Sunday. Uh, next Sunday is fourth Sunday, and next Sunday is also our family first Sunday. Uh, and so next Sunday, as we dress down uh, for Christmas Eve, uh, the service isn't Christmas Eve. It's always high praise at high noon. 
But on this New Year's Eve, we're going to give you an opportunity, amen, have a little fun in church. So, amen, come, amen, wearing your, your good festive sweaters, your ugly Christmas sweater, your holiday sweater, your green, your red, your gold, whatever. Uh, unless, amen, uh, I might have something for somebody that uh, has a really nice sweater that I might like. I'm, I just might. I don't know. You have to come in your ugly Christmas sweater. Uh, the most no that, that's what I'll do. The most notable one. I'm the judge and the jury. Uh, since it's going to be my gift, I'm the judge. I'm the judge and the jury. But come on back and let's have some fun and lift Jesus higher. I want to see you, amen, dressed down, but bring your praise. And let's see who has, amen, the most uh, notable uh, outfit on next Sunday. God help my eyes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Help my eyes. I, I can't wait to see you here. Amen. To everyone, to all of our members that are watching us virtually, come on, bring, bring your, yourself, your body, your children, your family. Let's do this together. Our last family first Sunday of the year next year. I mean, next week in the name of the Lord. All right. I think that's all I need to share with you. Uh, are you ready to give? Let's get ready to give on this afternoon. For the Lord loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. We thank God for this year. So much has gone on in this year. But I thank God for this year. Hallelujah. I thank God for this year because it's a year that God has continued to manifest himself. Continue to show himself to be more than able. <laughs> more than able. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so I'm grateful to God for one more opportunity to be able to sow and to give, amen, to the kingdom of God. And so we're inviting you to be, participate in this part of the service. Everyone that can and will uh, get you a good offering in your hand, amen, and get ready to give. If this is your week of increase, you are a partner here at GCTA. You are in covenant relationship with God. This is your opportunity, amen to signify that by tithing on your increase. Amen. Tithing on your increase. I got a tithe envelope in my pocket right now. Hallelujah. Anytime you get increased, you should, amen, honor the, the God of heaven, amen, that provided for you, amen. And if you remain in covenant relationship, and I won't teach that this time around, but amen. Uh, tithing came before the law of Moses. Just to let y'all know, hallelujah, it is in signifying, amen, that there is someone higher than I, hallelujah, there is someone greater than I, and I owe everything that I have to him, hallelujah, and we honor God through our tithing and our covenant relationship, so if this is your week of increase, Sister April has an envelope for you to tithe, and everyone else that's giving, whatever you have prayed about, whatever the Lord has laid upon your heart, we're asking that you will stand to your feet, and get ready to give. Brother Aiden, will you come hold the basket for me, please, this week? Hallelujah. Everybody that can and will stand to your feet with your offerings in your hand. Glory to God. If you're online and you're giving today, uh, you can do so via Cash App, dollar sign GCTA. PayPal is another option you have. It's PayPal, it's GCTA Ministry. Everyone that's giving, whether electronically, tangible gifts in the house amen on your feet say i'm ready to give amen hallelujah i'm ready to give all right let's look to lord father i thank you for your grace and your mercy for your blessings and your promises father bless these now your givers lord god they come to give unto you and your kingdom God, some giving sacrificially, some out of abundance. Some, Lord God, we pray they're giving with a heart of thanksgiving. But God, I pray that we will all give, oh God, without being grudging, Lord God, but give freely and willingly from our hearts as unto the Lord. Blessed, receive these gifts now. Return unto your people 100 fold. Open the windows of heaven. Pour us out blessings more than we have room enough to receive. God, we thank you and we bless you. We praise you for these blessings blessings and so much more we declare the blessings of the lord upon your people in the name of the lord jesus and it is so amen come around from where you are and let's give unto the lord
Y'all don't mind if I come out this jacket, do y'all? All right, thank you. Uh, I think we're going to, uh, my God, we're going to have a good time in these last few moments. If you're already enjoying the presence of the Lord, will you shout hallelujah one more time? Hallelujah. I said if you're already enjoying the presence of the Lord, shout hallelujah one more time. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Uh, this afternoon, uh, Ecclesiastes, yes, let's go there. Ecclesiastes chapter number seven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. And now let the weak say I come on sing it with me. Let the poor say I am rich because of what the Lord has done for us. One more time. And now, and now let, let the weak, weak say I am strong. The poor let say I'm rich. Say oh, my, my, my. Am rich. Because of what the Lord because has done. Because of what the Lord has done. For us, give thanks. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Give thanks, say, give thanks, give Hallelujah. Sister Abel, come here real quick, please. Give thanks, yes, Lord. Give thanks. Somebody lift your voice and tell the Lord, I thank you. Give, give thanks. thanks. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We can praise and worship. Give thanks. Oh, give thanks. Hey. Give thanks. Hey. Give thanks. Give thanks. For all he's done for you. Hallelujah. Let your soul cry out. Come on. Somebody lift your voice real big and say, Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Declare it out of your mouth. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Oh. Give thanks. Yes. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Sorry, I just need a little moment. Come on, give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Lord, give we love you today, thanks. Jesus. And we praise your name. We honor you, God. Hallelujah. There is none like you. There is none like you. There is none like you, God. You are Lord of all, Master, Ruler, Savior, Redeemer, King, God, all by yourself. Hallelujah. There is none like your Father now. Anoint us again. Oh God, anoint us again. Anoint us again. With your power, send glory upon us, God. Flow through us and use us. A vessel of honor meet for your use. God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Speak your word, Shia. 
Speak your word today, Jesus. God, ah, God, I pray now, God, whatsoever comes out of our lips, God, make it so. Make it so in this place. God, change the, somebody's trajectory of their path. God, shift them, oh God. Hallelujah. Where they have been leading, God, straighten them up. God, give them firm foundation to stand upon. Let this word illuminate their path. In the name of Jesus, make it so. Make it so. Make it so. Make it so, God. According to your divine purpose for this day, I ask you, Lord God, complete your work. Hallelujah. We seal it now in the only name that can do it. The name given among men. God, we're already saved. And we have access to that name. And we declare in the name of Jesus. Yeah, it is so. Hallelujah. Forever we praise you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. Give thanks. Yeah. Give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give thanks, say give thanks. Give thanks. Hallelujah. Thanks. Glory to God. Yes, sir. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Please ask this chapter number seven, verse eight. Give thanks, yes, say. verse of this seventh chapter of Ecclesiastes reads, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof <laughs> yeah and the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. Last time, the eighth verse of Ecclesiastes chapter number seven. Glory to God. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. I have four words for you this afternoon. Share it on your road, behind you, in front of you. Find somebody. Announce this, amen, subject to them. Tell them, here comes the end. Hey. Somebody get your good, amen, Holy Ghost. Uh, stir it up real good and testify, hallelujah to somebody, amen, in the room and tell them, here comes the end. You might be in home, at home by yourself, on a road by yourself. Somebody touch your heart. Hallelujah. Open your mouth wide and make this declaration. Here comes the end. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. A few weeks ago, uh, I was uh, proclaiming and declaring to somebody, amen, about uh, new and remind me, amen, GCTA, of what God spoke to us at the beginning of 2022. Uh, how many of you remember, amen, he said, amen, that that would be the year of new, never ending wow. Uh, new is something we often celebrate. New is something we get excited about. New, new is something, amen, that puts a little pep in your step, amen. Uh, a new baby, a new job, 
a new relationship, a new car, a new home, uh -huh. a, a new day, a new year. Some of y'all already looking for. And new gets us real excited. Hallelujah. Uh, something about new just, I don't know, just hearing the word, amen, make, make your ears perk up. Hallelujah. Uh, and we often relate fresh starts to new, amen, uh, or, or a new beginning. We, we look at stuff that is new. We get excited. We celebrate it uh, so much to the point that that which is already in our possession, uh, we start to call it old. Uh, some of us look forward to new so much uh, that we start to proclaim that this that we already have is old. And, uh, I, I, and we look at it in a negative light. We look at it, amen, with a negative connotation because our eyes and our focus have already looked to something that we think is going to be better. Hallelujah. We think that it's going uh, to be even more than what we already have. Uh, let me just insert this here amen uh, Adam and Eve had everything they needed in the garden of Eden my God hallelujah uh, if I said everything they needed in the garden of Eden and in fact they had everything they could hope for right there in the garden of Eden in fact God created the garden just for them God help me hallelujah uh, he put them right in the heart of it gave them access to anything they would ever need read Genesis and see where those rivers that flowed out of the garden of Eden would take them and the wealth that was on the other end of that river, uh, the, the gold and the, amen, the bedellum and all the fine things that was on the other side of those rivers that flowed in and out of the Garden of Eden. Yet Adam and Eve somehow had their eyes turned towards something that they were told not to touch. Sometimes, amen, we can look so much for something new that what we already have, amen, while it's still working, we call it old. We, we throw it away as if we don't have any more need for it. Uh, we toss it aside as if, hallelujah, it has never been working or good for us or did anything right for us. Uh, and if new makes us happy, uh, then some of us have the mindset that old makes us sad. Uh, I, I got this old car. I got these these old rags. I got this old vi uh, a home. I need something new and fresh uh, because I got people that are looking at me. I got uh, uh, my own self-perception. Whatever the reason is, we will quickly, amen, turn away from what we have to look for something that is new. Now we can focus and anticipate new so much that, watch this, we will mishandle the blessing that God have given us that have already been a blessing to us watch this and they're still good for us uh-huh hallelujah uh, yeah and, and if we're not careful we'll start putting a man tags and titles on things that are still working old doesn't mean that bad old doesn't mean outdated old doesn't mean it no longer has value it just means I already possess it God, oh God, I feel glory on that. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. My joy is in old. It just I already possessed it. It's not. It's not new this morning. I I, I came in with joy in my heart. Oh God, uh, for with joy have I drawn from the wells of salvation. I thank God any time I get low. I thank God for a woo, a faithful way to tap in to salvation and pull up. <laughs> Spring up a well down in y'all ain't gonna let me preach spring up a well now I, I thank God that I don't have to find a new way to tap in to what God has already given unto me my God old amen does not indicate bad it doesn't indicate outdated it doesn't indicate a lack of value it actually could amen indicate wisdom uh huh hallelujah y'all see all this gray that's disrespectful in my beard hallelujah uh, some of it I didn't get till two and a 
half years ago when I started pastoring. <laughs> and I'm not saying y'all gave it to me. I'm just saying I had to learn some stuff and become a little more wiser. <laughs> Did I fix it up right? Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I owe doesn't have to be, amen, a bad thing, amen. It just might mean that there's some wisdom there. It might mean, yes, God, hallelujah. There's some knowledge there. Uh, it might mean that there's some strength there, hallelujah, that has been tested and tried and has endured. Uh -huh. And we tend to push and to do things with, oh, that we wouldn't do with anything else. Hallelujah. Uh, we'll, we'll go chasing after new till, amen, what we say is old has barely been used. Ah. Uh. God. Uh, what we say is a man outdated has barely been tapped into. Uh -huh. uh, the full, God help me, hallelujah. Uh, the full value has not even been realized, uh, but yet we'll find ourselves chasing after something else. Uh, tell your neighbor the grass is not always greener on the other side. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, if it's old, hallelujah, and it's still working, hallelujah, then can I just tell you, you need to take that tag off of it because it ain't old if it's still working. I'm going to try to get to the preach, but I got to put this into y'all because God wants, amen, before you hit 2024, amen, he wants to finish some things. Hallelujah. He wants to finish some stuff. Hallelujah. But he's got to get your participation, huh? And you've got to take you the tag old uh, off of what God's already released to you. You got, uh, I know there's some unrealized things that God has promised and spoken in your life, huh? but you got to go back and look at what he's already given you ha, and cherish the blessings of yesterday ha, cherish the miracle from last week cherish ha, the deliverance from last ah, yeah yeah ha, for oh god hallelujah ha, for every good and perfect give come from the if he gave it to you tell your neighbor it ain't old if it's still working uh-huh Hallelujah. So in an effort for us to hurry up and get to next, in an effort for us to hurry up and get to new, in an effort for us to grab something fresh, uh -huh, we will end something prematurely. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. We'll chase, my God, I, 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 I'm going to use Lady Patrice uh, because we talk about this uh, all the time. Amen. Lady Patrice will say that time is always moving so fast. She'll say amen. We have already got to March. Uh, and she will say it looks like we were just in January. Whereas I have a different perspective about time because I start to think about all the things that were done within that time frame. And when I begin to really focus on everything that was done in that time frame, it makes me realize, well, actually, there wasn't, it didn't go by that quick. That was a whole lot of stuff we did there. That was, we was pretty busy right through there. Uh-huh. Uh, and, and we always have this dialogue, and it's really just a matter of perspective. Help me, God. Hallelujah. Uh, but if we're not careful, we'll continue to have a man an eye for what's next and cause an end prematurely to what God is doing right now. God help me in here. Hallelujah. What are you saying, Elder Brock? I'm saying what God is doing right now is actually necessary for what you're getting ready to walk into. God help me. Hallelujah. And if you're not careful, hallelujah, you can be so excited that you'll get running in your feet to get into 2024 and miss what God is doing in these last two weeks of 23. God help me. Hallelujah. And I just want you not to miss hallelujah. Oh God, the glory that's going to hit your life in these last 20, oh God, last days of 2023 because it's this glory. God help me. I was talking to a group of people on Friday morning and God told me to tell them hallelujah that it's time to dance in the rain and what God's getting ready to pour out in these last few days of 23. It's not going to make you wish that 24 would hurry up, but it's going to make you go into 24 with a smile on your face. God. God. 
Uh, hallelujah. Let me slow down. Uh, I believe God wants somebody to know. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. That what's coming is coming because God said it. Uh, but don't you end this year prematurely. Don't you rush out of the process that God is doing. Hey, God. Uh, don't you hasten yourself into tomorrow uh, and miss the blessing of today. God help me. Hallelujah. So what the text says is that, uh, that the end is better than the beginning. Hallelujah. Why? Because the beginning is full of hope. The beginning of a thing. When God first speaks into your life, many of you have gotten excited and danced. Let me put it on myself. Ten years ago, when I was diagnosed with cancer, you've heard the testimony. In one ear, I'm on the phone with my doctor. He said, amen, that the biopsy came back positive for cancer. But simultaneously, in the other ear, I heard the word of the Lord say, in the end you're going to be alright and I'm going to get the glory <laughs> now hallelujah my family knows hallelujah <laughs> that I thought the end was many times before it actually arrived God help me in here uh -huh, hallelujah <laughs> by the end of 2023 I was cancer free <laughs> but Lady Patrice and Brother Ada can tell you they were, the end of that was hallelujah only the beginning of some of the worst days <laughs> that I experienced uh, uh, oh yeah the treatments were over the surgery had been completed hallelujah almost nine hours under anesthesia my god uh, but it wasn't until 2014 2015 2016 2017 if I could be honest 2018 and I still had stuff going on uh, and I shook myself and scratched my head god I thought you said when the end was coming uh, I was going to be all right. And he came back with another word. Said, well, if you ain't all right, it can't be the end. My God. Can I come and tell somebody you've been going through, but the end of the thing is going to be better. And if you ain't got to better yet, then it can't be the end. But just as sure as my name is Sean, God is still working. Uh, and he's going to bring all things whatsoever he has spoken to pass uh, uh, the beginning of a thing brings full of hope it brings a lot of excitement amen I got excited I tell you amen I didn't have a sad day that day he told me I had cancer I had to go home and tell my wife but God gave me strength I didn't cry that day I wasn't sad because I had a word from the Lord uh, but I had yet to really go through Oh, God. I, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all missed that. I said I had a word from the Lord, but I had yet to go through. My God. Truth of the matter is cancer had been in my body, and I didn't even know it. I was eating fine. I was a little tired, but my schedule was hectic, and I still kept every appointment. I drove to work and back from home from work. I had a little young child that I was going running behind. Had a wife, amen, newly married, hallelujah. Church life was busy, home life was busy, work life was busy, and we did it all with cancer in my body. But when I got a word, that word had to get tested, that word had to go through, and the beginning was full of hope, it was full of promise. I, hallelujah, it was full of potential because God had spoken to me. I received His word and I rejoice, but I didn't know that the end was not going to be the end of, tw of 2013. I didn't know that the end was not going to be when cancer was no longer in my body. I didn't know that the end God spoke about was a process that he had begun to work on me. And so this text lets us know that the end is better than the beginning. Why? Because the end, hallelujah, that hope that you get when God first speaks to you now it has been tested. The end is better because those promises that you danced about when God first released them have now had a chance to mature and become manifested. Yeah, the end is better because that potential that you started out with has now been realized and you're able to walk in a greater level of authority, a greater level of power, a greater level of comfort and confidence. Though your way may have been rocky, your foot never slipped. God help me. Be 
God help me though your way may have seemed to be cloudy you never stumbled and fell because God was with you every step of the way I came to preach to somebody that's looking for a new day don't you end today prematurely because there's still God and his glory to be manifested in your now hallelujah we rejoice and I'm almost finished help me God we rejoice over a new baby yes God we rejoice over a new baby we get happy when hallelujah the announcement that our loved one is pregnant huh uh, well lady patrice cried if i'm gonna be honest huh? uh, but she got happy amen huh? when aiden came on through the womb huh? she got happy hallelujah huh? let me tell you why she got happy because the doctors told her huh? that she should not be able to carry a baby the doctors huh, told her to abort her baby the doctors huh, had all kind of negative news huh? but she had a word from the lord and the word of the Lord said, I, whatever I start, I always fit it. Y'all ain't gonna let me preach like I feel it. I preach like I want to anyway. God help me in here. And she got excited. Hallelujah. But I came to tell you, Lady Patrice, that joy you had when you first got to hold your baby boy will not even compare to when Aiden graduates college and starts taking care of his mama. God help me. I said the end is better than the beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Whoa, God. Uh -huh. uh, to start something and to not finish it uh -huh. God is Christmas time it's like having a beautifully wrapped Christmas box uh -huh. that ain't got nothing on the inside uh -huh. to, st uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. to start something and to not finish it uh -huh. is to say that God uh -huh. is not a man of his word uh -huh. if you step out Peter uh -huh. on the word of God at the beckoning of the Lord for you to sink and die in the storm is to say that the God that called you out of the boat is not able to keep you in the storm but I came to shake up your faith and declare to this house that if God called you from where you were he brought you out of your yesterday he put you in today for a reason don't you leave today till God's finished doing what he wants to do and he ain't finished with you yet cause he's already inscribed your name on a greater tomorrow so stick around honey and rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him oh God wait on the Lord and be of good courage he shall strengthen Dine, shake yourself in the room and say wait on the Lord I'm almost there Chris but I feel glory and I came with glory on this word this afternoon to tell you don't end this day prematurely don't run out of your now prematurely don't put an end to the process prematurely hallelujah in other words what God has begun yeah 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 he that hath begun a good work he don't need your hands on it he don't need your mind on it he don't need your gifts on it the anointing you got is his anyway he don't need that on it either he that hath begun a good work what God does it is forever nothing shall be added I feel it now Chris nothing shall be taken away I said God's gonna do it that men might feel it's glory that's the reason you're still in today cause he's tuning up his glory Glory. That's the reason why he hasn't crossed you over into tomorrow. 
Cause he's maximizing his glory on your life. The reason why you haven't stepped foot into next is cause God is still working his plan on your right now. He's manifesting something beyond what your eyes can see. But he's still working. Shake yourself and say, God, keep on working. And what he told me to tell you is it's foolish to bring a premature end to something that you didn't start. It's foolish for you to bring a close to a chapter you didn't write. It's foolish for you to close up a shop you ain't open. It's foolish for you to end something you did not ignite. Why extinguish a flame you didn't start? And God told me to tell you, whatever I start, I'm caught enough to finish. And the end is going to be better. So hold on a little while long. The Lord told me to tell you, it looks good for a little while at the beginning. But then somehow the day comes on and the day gets heavy, life gets heavy, problems arise in your right now to make you question the promise of God on your tomorrow. And I came to tell you, God is not like man. If God said it, he's faithful to perform it. You got to let God finish. I said let God finish. He's God that knows the end from the beginning. He knows the details of the strategy. And he's still... I feel that last week message. He's still working. He's still working. You may have got tired. And you may have got weary. In a well doing. But God don't take breaks. He don't take vacations. He don't take personal time. He don't even need it. He don't get weak. And it doesn't get weary. In fact, it takes good pleasure in making his words show up and bringing it to pass. For he's watching over his word simply to perform it. You ought to get ready to let God finish what he started. And in the end, that's what the Lord told me in the end. You're going to be all right, and I'm going to give the glory. Well, I had to learn something, y'all. I had to come to an understanding that the reason why God let me go through so much, cancer was no more. My diagnosis had changed from a cancer patient. Help me God in here to being what they call in remission. Can I insert this real quick? Devil, it ain't coming back. I feel preacher coming on me. Yeah. It ain't coming back. You're going to have to try something else. Because that thing that you tried to destroy me with, it ain't. I wish I had somebody that the devil tried to kill in this year. Tried to take your mind. Tried to destroy your peace. Tried to steal your joy. Tell the devil you tried me this year. But I'm going to let God finish it out. And you ain't going to get to come back. For the enemy you see. Today you shall see no more. Not that one devil. It ain't coming back. 
God told me that the reason why it got hard after cancer came because I had to do a work that would let my glory shine brighter than the new day sun. I had to do some stuff. In other words, God had to let it get worse just to make better shine bright. He had to let it get ugly so he could show how beautiful the come up was going to be. He had to let it get nasty so he could show how great and mighty he is. It's all right that you felt like throwing in the towel. Just don't end it prematurely. It's all right that you sit there and felt like you had nothing else to give. That's when God picked you up in his loving arms. And when you could go no further, he carried you you through the test. He carried you through the hard season. He carried you through the darkest days. It wasn't you. It was God. It was God. It was God. Thank God. He laid his hands on me. All at once, something happened. And my feet got light. My soul started rejoicing. Looks like I can feel the breaking of the day. And before the sun came up, I was reminded that it told me in the year, you're going to be all right. So my joy got renewed. My strength came back. It wasn't a new day yet. But I felt my help come back. And when I felt my help, I did what I could. But can I be honest with you? I got a week again. And I got another blow. And I had to go through 18 months with six blood transfusions. Almost every two months. I said, Lord, what is this? I was back to preaching, trying to get a normal life again. And it felt like I got knocked down to the lowest rung again. Had night sweats when my fever and my temperature would go to 102. And I thought I was going to to the other side of the test. But it looked like I got the knock back into the middle and it seemed worse than the last round. I came to preach to somebody and tell you you're in the 12th round. Come here December. You're in the 12th round of a heavyweight fight. You've been knocked down but it gave you strength to get up again. You might have stumbled, but you're not out. Shake yourself and say, I got to get up again. It ain't over till God said, Oh, shut up, I see. It ain't over till God said, You tell me, I feel glory on me. It ain't over till God says it's over. And God says, I ain't finished yet. So get up again. Yes, it hurts to go through. Yes, it makes you confused. It don't look like what God said. Come here, Joseph. Their brothers lied on him. Took what his father gave him. God help me. The devil's tried to take what your father has given you. It cast you into a pit, sold you into slavery. You are the apple of his eye. You are the joy and pride of your father. And it seems like the devil wants to enslave you and put you into bondage. But can I preach to the glory carriers and tell the devil that you might have bound me up but the glory on my life still works 
put me, enslave me to somebody else, but the glory gonna rise to the surface. Joseph's in part of his house as a slave, but he's not looking like a slave. In fact, it looks so good. Part of his wife said, I want him, but Joseph maintained his integrity. I came to preach to some glory carriers that have held on to your God, held on to your sanctification, held on to God's righteousness, held on, though it was the only thing you could do. You couldn't dance good, but you held on to God. You couldn't shout good. Some days you couldn't pray right, and fasting seemed not to come. You did everything you could with the little strength you had just to hold on and not give all the way up. Some of you let go a little bit, but before you threw in the towel, here comes strength. Here comes the strength for the joy of the Lord is your strength. It's his strength that was made perfect in your weakest moment. And Joseph held on to his integrity. And even in the face of the lies that his brothers told on him, in the face of the lies part of his wife told on him, he goes even deeper into the depths of what looks like this ain't God. I need somebody that has told yourself, said it out loud even, this can't be God. I look around and I don't see good. God, where's the wave of goodness you promised? I don't feel, I feel depression. I feel sorrow. I feel pain. But up above my head, I hear music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. I feel glory in the room. He held on and in the face of lies they put him in prison and tried to lock him up but the glory on his life still rose to the top I came to preach from my shop to some glory carriers tell her that's why you had to hold on to glory show up Sunday after Sunday when others wouldn't come get it you chased after it when others left empty you said I need another take and you got more glory and I came to preach to you and tell you the glory I said the glory I said the glory is always gonna rise to the top Joseph's in prison and now have you ever heard about a prisoner being in charge of the whole prison. Joseph is in charge. Every whip can't help me. Tell me you can't keep me down. It's too much glory. Oh, I feel like walking now. It's too much glory. Oh, my bishop was a walking preacher. That's where I got it from. It's too much glory. On oh, my life. You ain't going to keep me down. I may have looked down yesterday, but God brought me to today because he's got a greater tomorrow and the glory and the glory and the glory that's on my life. You can't keep it down, devil. And if I'm in prison, I just got put in the perfect place for my next elevation because where the prison was was in the king's palace he was put in the king's prison and God had set Joseph up with so much glory that they had to testify of him in the king's court Joseph didn't get there but the glory did call him Joseph didn't show up but the glory on his life was testified 
before the one that was assigned to, oh God, I feel it now, to bring him out and manifest God's promise. I can't even tell you this glory on your life is getting ready to testify and the one assigned to put in position to bring God's word to pass in your life the glory's gonna talk to them oh God I feel the prophetic on me now I feel it on me Lady Patrice I said the glory on your life is getting ready to go on a testimony service and testify in places you haven't been and that's why you gotta stay in today because the glory is going into your tomorrow into your next step into your elevated place into your promised place the glory is getting ready to open up his mouth and testify on your behalf in rooms you have not entered in doors that have not been opened yet the glory 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 the glory of the lord hold on to your life is designed that when this day comes to an end i said the end is better than the beginning when this day and this season comes to an end you're gonna walk into it tomorrow with no hurt you got into today by a prayer and a hook and a wish for some of you you got into today by the skin of your teeth you barely made it you barely made it you barely made it you just escaped into this day but tomorrow you go go in with your head held high and with confidence and with boldness you go step into promise with more glory than your last season you go step into promise with more victory than you've ever witnessed you go on a step into promise because God is putting a bow on your day he's wrapping it up finishing the process because when it's finished that means I don't have to go through that anymore when it's finished I don't have to do that anymore Jesus on the cross locked his head in his arms opened up his mouth and said it is finished he didn't have to die no more because it is finished he ain't got to come to earth to save my soul because it is finished he ain't got to take the crown in his head or the stripes on his back because it is finished my assignment today was to preach to you that's been a holding on by a last thread to tell you that it's over now the end is gonna be better than the beginning you started out with him he's gonna make the wait worthwhile he's gonna make the process profitable he's gonna make your endurance be worth it he you suffered for a while but after that God said I will strengthen you establish you settle you make you perfect here comes the end here comes the end here comes the end here comes the end devil it's over keep it on 
get it on. It comes in. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Better, 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 better. Here comes the ear. Here comes the ear. Here comes the ear. What you went through for when the ear comes, he lets you in on the process. When the ear comes, you need to look back and wonder how he got over. He starts showing us. I kept you through that. I made a way through that. I delivered it there. Help right there. I cushioned you there. I lifted you up there. You'll be able to look back at what you thought was the worst was only the light stuff. For the light afflictions are working. They're working far more and exceeding weights. Of glory, here comes the end. Here comes the end. He's gonna show you why it had to be that way. He's gonna show you why it looked dark. He's gonna show you why it hurt. He's gonna show you. It's like an after action report. This is why I did it this way. And if I can tell the glory kings, the reason why is because glory has to be maximized. GCTA, the reason why it's been so tough, because the glory has to be maximized. If you were just a church person, you would dance because of the music. But when you've been delivered, you can be in your car, in your quiet closet, pray and think of the goodness of Jesus, and your feet will get light. You might not be a dancer, but your feet get light. Your joy gets full when you think I should have been dead sleeping in my grave I should have been a statistic of the church y'all ain't hear me I should have been one of the backsliders I should have been one of the uh, the crazy ones I should have been one that was reprobate cause my heart couldn't handle the process but before he let me curse God and die he reminded me that the Lord give it and the Lord take it away my only response my only responsibility is to bless his name lift your voice and bless him in here yet you're tired but bless him anyway cause here comes the end you may be hurting bless him anyway cause here comes the end I will bless the Lord at all times here's the song and I'ma let y'all go don't wait till my battle is over you know in the end Tell your neighbor, I know what happens in the end. Hey! Shut them on, you come from my shot. Shake somebody, tell them, I know what happens in the end. Hey! Whoa, shut up. Chris, I know what happens in the end. I know what happens in the end. Hey! I know what happens in the end. Hey! In the end. 
prophesied and broke over and tell you something. In the end, you're going to be all right. And God's going to get the glory. And God's going to, I feel it now. And God's going to get the glory. In the end. Oh, you can't get to your new beginning until he finished this chapter. But in the end of this chapter, oh God, he'll be your gift. I said in the end of this chapter, shake somebody by the hand, tell them you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Oh, my, my, my. You're going to be all right. Yeah. You're going to be all right. Yeah. I need y'all come on. <laughs> Prophetically announce it to somebody else. Tell them you're gonna be alright. I'm about to lose it. You gonna be alright. Now everybody tell the devil and God's gonna get the glory. And God's gonna get the glory. Gonna get the glory. There will be glory after this. Yeah, yeah. Here come the end. Here come the end. Here come the end. He's gonna finish what he started. Shut up! Oh. He's gonna. He's gonna finish what he started. Get that last shot. Yeah. Sons and daughters getting saved. He's gonna finish. What he started, that is coming back together. He's going to... Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in here. Bishop, you're resting. But God told me to tell the house. God's going to finish what he started. Shepherd mother, your eyes are going to see. I said your eyes. He let you here to see to be a witness what he started he's more than able and he will and he will here comes the end in the last days I'll pour out of my spirit on all flesh yeah. here comes the end these I shall follow them that believe Lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Come on, help me in here. Get to my shan, the Mosia. He can to the Moshaya. Are you getting empowered right now, glory carriers? Here comes the year. Goodbye sorrow. Goodbye struggle. I got work to do. I got work to do. I got work to do. Here comes the end. Let God finish. There it is all across this house. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. Hayana Shaya. Here comes the end. Here comes the end. Here comes the end. Here comes Bushana. Here comes the end. Here comes the end. Yeah. I just gotta say what the Holy Ghost is telling me to say. The glory didn't leave with Bishop. Yeah. That's why I can dance with my father right now. Yes, yeah. He's resting in glory and I'm living in glory. I said that's why I can dance with my daddy right now. Because April is the same glory. He's resting in what you're getting ready to see. He got an advanced viewing. He got a preview. I said he got a preview. And he's resting in what you get ready to see. It's the same glory.
Here comes the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when it's all over, yeah, all I'll be left to do is dance, praise, sing, leap, run, keep in praise. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning. It's a shame when you see somebody start a race and not be able to complete it. it it's a shame when it's hard, it's hard. L listen, it's hard, it's hard. Entrepreneurs, I got a lot of them in here. No, it's hard. It's a shame when you start a business and it doesn't reach full potential. Yes, yes, yes. Somewhere along the line, there was a disconnect of something. We, maybe I didn't have the right business model. Maybe I, I, I wasn't good with finance. Maybe I didn't have the right network. Maybe I didn't have the right uh, client stream. I, I, something, whatever it was, the challenges that all, watch this, that all entrepreneurs face. Capital is a, is a challenge all entrepreneurs face. Yeah. But God says, I would never have started you. I would have never given you a word that ignited your faith. If I didn't already have everything necessary, watch this, for me to finish what I started. You didn't start, oh God, help me. You didn't even start your own self. You were not the ignition point. Huh? You didn't turn the key. You weren't the one even in the driver's seat to put the foot on the gas. He started it. He's more than able. And he will perform. Finish it. Brother Lash is back there laying down. I don't know. Brother Hunter, does he play... Mortal Kombat, hallelujah. Must be dating myself a little bit, hallelujah. On the, on the video game, they seen the movie, the kids seen the movie. On the video game, hallelujah. Uh, when you got to the end of the round, it wasn't just enough to beat them. Ooh. See, 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 we can end the fight, but th there's a finishing move that means the enemy can't come back anymore. God help me in here. Woo! God says, you're just trying to end it. You're just trying to get out of it. He says, but I want to finish it. Shatama <laughs> hikotomos. You just trying to get out of the, the heaviness of it, the weight of it. You just want it to end. God says, I'm going to finish it. Woo! Shut up. Devil, I came with full anointing and power to tell you, oh God, you get ready to get finished before 23 years out. Woo! God's going to finish it. Yeah. The Lord's really been working on my boldness, Brooke. He's been trying to get me to be a little more bold, and I, I, I'm starting to feel it a little bit more. Here, Shema. Yeah. I told you last week, God reminded me, He said, If you say it, I'll do it. I 
got real hesitant. Aiden, I got real hesitant about saying stuff because uh, whatever, the, the Sean in me kept wanting to jump in that space. What, what do I say? I, I, don't, I, I don't want people, I don't want to be a, a false this or that. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's the devil and my flesh. Oh, y'all didn't hear me. I said, that's the devil and my flesh. Yeah. Because if God said, if you say it, I'll do it. All I need to do is open my mouth. Thank you, Lady Patrice. Just obey. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo, Shanda Masia. Ah, and I declare in this house, and I'm letting y'all go, I promise. Hallelujah. We're going to get out of here real soon. Yee. Oh, y'all meet me back here next Sunday. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm not preaching in a sweater next Sunday. I promise you that. It's hot. Yeah, God. Hallelujah to Jesus. But before I let you go, I got to make this declaration. God, help me in here. Hallelujah. Yeah, Shanda Masi Toba. Yeah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Uh, uh, the Holy Ghost told me to tell uh, that devil that's been plaguing you. Now, now, hear me, hear me, hear me. Ooh, we're not talking about that little stuff that you didn't brought on yourself. We ain't talking about that. Uh -uh. I'm talking about the enemy that has been consistently, persistently, God, ooh, continually, actively, my God, with ill intent, plaguing you. devil it's over now yeah. God's bringing it to an end but he's going to finish you Shia Woo. he's going to finish you these people will not wrestle with that thing anymore I dare somebody believe it, go ahead and thank him for it. I, I need to put a little more specificity on it. Yep, my, 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 my. The demon that has been plaguing your mind with doubt, it's over. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. Come against the spirit of doubt in this place. It's over. Finish it, God. A body of believers. Everything God says, we're going to believe it. And walk in it. Oh, God, help me. I said, we're going to believe it and walk in it. Shama, it's over. I love you online. I don't know if you're getting this. Yeah, Jesus. Devil, no more doubts. As I stand here bold, I speak boldness into the life of every believer in the room. We're a believing church. We're a believing church. We're a believing church. Open your mouth and say, I believe, I believe. Say, I believe God. I believe God. I believe God. Oh, I said, open your mouth and declare it. I believe God. It is finished. Y'all watch, y'all watch these next couple of weeks with doubt out of the way. You oh shh. Here's, here's what the Lord told me to say. Thank you, Holy Ghost. With doubt out of the way, watch this. God says, I'm getting ready to speak more to you. 
because faith cometh by hearing hearing by the word of God oh God God says ah, I'm getting ready to speak more to you he says with doubt out of the way he says only believe oh hallelujah hear God everything I say he says I only believe y'all missed it yeah. I said only believe I said oh God somebody say everything God says here's why because your faith is what's going to let your eyes see it's 205 I got to get you out of here I would have fainted unless I believed to see when God prophesied in this in this place spoke in this place and said that there was a wave of goodness coming to this house some of you grabbed it and started rejoicing but then process happened and you got shaken in your faith the enemy started whispering doubt questions uncertainty was that for me is that for somebody else am I the one who I don't know God says I'm finishing the job on that demon of doubt and all you have to do is believe and before 24 gets here your eyes are going to see y'all not hear me I said before 24 get your eyes are going to start to see goodness thank you in abundance goodness in abundance I'm not lying in here God says before oh God before 24 your eyes are going to see in other words it's not just going to be one blessing it's not going to be one good act it's not going to be one positive response it's going to come this one is sister April's favorite scripture one thing after another now that doubt has been removed listen God's going to start talking more he doesn't cast his word as like pearls before the swine he speaks and his sheep hear him when you hear God only believe only believe only believe when you hear God only believe because when you believe, then you're going to do. Did you hear me? When you believe, then you will do. James said, I'll show you my faith by my works. I'll show you how much I believe by what I do. God, help me in here. My works is not my faith, but I'm going to show you how I got good faith. I believe God so much, I'm going to do. I'm going to obey and my eyes are going to see it father I thank you now for your word I thank you God for what you have done in the spirit thank you Lord that you have stopped by to finish some things some processes some moves Oh, hallelujah to Jesus. I thank you, God, because you have removed hindrances now out of the way from us hearing you clearly. Yeah, God, you've evicted the demon of doubt out of our mind. Yeah, my, 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 my. We will no longer wrestle with doubt. We will only believe. And our faith is now God. Somebody's faith is small, but it's strong. Yeah. I oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I pray God do what you promised these your people. Speak to them. 
Speak to them. Speak to them. Their spirit might receive your word. Their faith might be increased. They might walk in obedience. God, I know you're going to do it. So, Father, I'm getting my praise ready right now. Yeah. An incredible praise for an incredible God. I'm getting my I'm getting my hallelujah warmed up because I know you're gonna do it. I'm not gonna wait. God, I'm gonna praise you now. Shaya. Can I just get one praise partner real quick and I'm letting you go. We I'm gonna praise you right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Here comes the end. Go Shaba. Itaba Shabosia. And we praise you, right? Woo. 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 Shabosia. And we praise you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's get ready to go because I feel a wave getting ready to hit. Woo, Shabbat. Online, God bless you. Meet us here next week. Katama Shandabosia. Meet us back here next week. Woo! I'm walking in the goodness. Katama Shaya. I can see clearly now. Meet us back here, 7165 Old Alexandra Ferry Road, Clinton, Maryland. Woo, shut up. Somebody throw that around the room. Say, I can see clearly now. I can see. My eyes are open. Got my eyes wide open. Already looking better. Already looking brighter. Yee! I want to hug on you and greet you. Come meet me. Meet me right here. If you're in the Clinton area, you got family in the Clinton area, send them over here. Amen. I want to introduce them to this God of glory. I want to introduce them to this God of glory. To all the glory carriers, amen. We'll meet you back here on Wednesday night. Amen. For Bible class. To all the members, amen, both in person and virtually. I saw some of you online today. God bless you. Come see us. Come meet us back here next Sunday. I, whoo. God's going to be giving out gifts. I know I told you I might have something for somebody with the most notable sweater, but the Holy Ghost just told me he's got gifts to give to you. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Somebody going to come in with the gift already unwrapped. God help me in here. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Woo. Hey, I said, oh, oh, I wish somebody would believe God that you ain't going to wait till next Sunday. You're going to get a gift before you get back, before I see you again. I'm going to unwrap something from God. All right. Woo. Lord, help me, Jesus. I think that's everything. I, I didn't miss anything. Whooshama. Let's go. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. I feel a dance in my feet, and y'all going. I'm going to dance by myself if I have to, but let's get ready to go. Come on, stand on your feet, GCG. Whooshama. If my wife dance, that means I better dance with her. Yeah, I can leave y'all
presence in the glory if you want to. But as for me and my house, we gon' get it all. We gon' get it all. I'ma get something this week. I'ma get something this week. Birthday Bishop, yeah. this what you told us to do. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You better pray to me, bro. Yes, sir. Woo. God be with us till we meet again. Go before us and watch over us. Keep us from danger, seen in us. Keep us from danger, seen and unseen. If it be your will, you shall rapture your children before we meet again. Make us ready to be caught up to meet you. If you delay your coming, we promise we'll come back crazy. I said, if you delay your coming, we promise. God bless you, Yako, Yako, I gotta go. Till we meet again in Jesus' name.